What's that? Welcome back to the TGS Open Series for Apex Legends. I myself, I'm Cover Frag. I'm Jordan, a guy I've become quite well acquainted with over this slog of Apex games. It is going to be Tony. Tony, we have one more banging game for you. Let's get straight to leaderboards. Let's break it down and let's see who is getting closer to that 500 of the prize ball. Top five right now. Let's give it the rundown. What, what's happening here, Tony? Who's, who's doing good? Uh, who needs a little bit of improvement in this last game? Well, I'm going to have to drop some giant Fs in the chat for gold last season who, are, who were not able to break the triple kill mark. How dare you assert your dominance Outrageous. in such a way and not hit the 100 point mark? Clearly, you have failed and you don't deserve any prize. Well, I need some Fs in the chat. Simon's Money Crew, 65 points in second place, but only two points ahead of wingman notice how motorcycle riders Ooh. are uh, secured in their top four positioning and fcs coming Ooh. out of nowhere and stealing the fifth place spot only one point away from placing in the money and into the top four so much respect salute the the hat is off and uh i'm giving you all of the respect that you deserve if they are able I'm getting too close to the mic getting too excited if they are able to keep up that kind of energy that kind of velocity they could easily see himself in the top three and that's exactly what we love to see on the cast and analyst desk is when people are hungry for that competition right until that last matchup if you see teams start to tamper off it's easy to do that it's hard to keep gaming for this long but there's five teams that you can easily see that want that chunk of change I'm not gonna lie to you. First place is pretty secure. I, I, it, it, it's, it's just a fact. But second and third, they're only separated by two points. Fourth and fifth, only separated by one point. We can see a lot Man. of movement happening uh, between those uh, th those four squads right there. And one squad is gonna be very unhappy here because it's five hundred dollars on the line, but only top four get paid. So th that fifteen that's only one point behind top four might just end up being disappointed. But if they step up and they really show out, they can bump themselves in the top four and, and make somebody else very disappointed. <laughs> Someone's going to be upset. We're sorry, folks, yeah. but someone is going to have the unhappy emote by the time we uh, get through the end of the night. Hopefully not, because the experience that they've got at TGS, but in the sense of their wallet being empty. Regardless, it has been a sick evening of Apex Legends, and we've got that one final last chance saloon attempt for one team to get themselves, actually one team, for three teams, to four teams to get themselves that prize ball. Who's it going to be? Let's get into the action, shall we? We saw how crazy that final circle was in game number five. This is the final circle of the tournament. I want to see just as great. If, if you have nothing to lose and you're at the bottom half of, of the tournament, hey, go all out drop Take it high shot. drop it's a fragment and let's let the chips fall that they may but if you're in the top five and you have a chance to make it into the, in, into that money and, and and make it into the big money at that you better be on your p's and q's you're be watching out because i promise you this game six i believe is going to be really hot at first with those teams that don't have a chance to make it in the money and then eventually going to slow down to a snail's pace that's my prediction i don't know if that's gonna happen but, uh, but that's my prediction z we'll see I like that prediction, and uh, I'm going to put my money uh, where your mouth is in the sense of I'm going right behind you on that vote. I do believe we're going to see a shed ton of hot drops. You're going to see those quick gunfights come into play, and we're going to see those numbers on the tick of how many teams are left and players just drop. It's just going to drop like a 10 ton weight. And that's what you need to see right now. You need to see those high risks going for the high reward and taking your shot at getting yourself into some high placement games. What team is going to be the team to walk away with that gold medal? I think we've solved that equation. But what we haven't solved with all the mathematics that we've put together with our brains here and how many, uh, how many uh, casters does it take to figure out the leaderboard stats, it takes two and uh, i'm going to be 0.5 of that you're the 1.5 you've had all the math in the equation today why not i think gold's last season they are taking that but for these uh for second and third there are so many teams that want a slice of the buy yeah the maximum amount of placement points you can get from winning is 12 points now mind you when we saw the leaderboards we saw last uh uh gold last season have literally a 34 point lead on their second place team so even say for example somehow last a goal last season end up dropping and losing immediately they drop hot they they get knocked out they go home and go to sleep 
it, even the second place team getting first place without with with only three KP is not going to be enough no. for them to catch up to first place. It is crazy the 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 amount of of distance that gold last season has put themselves in. I'm almost I'm almost tempted to ask them like, what if they just didn't play the last game? What if they just left? Just sit it out. <laughs> and just watch. Would they still <laughs> win? Obviously, we're not going to tell them to do that. But legitimately, that's 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 what they've afforded themselves. I know I play a lot of poker, and when I used to go down to I used to live in New Jersey. I was going down to Atlantic City. You would see a lot of poker players uh, in day one uh, during big, big tournaments. They would build themselves a nice stack. And once they got to the nice stack, they would literally leave and go home. They would go eat. They would, uh, and while the tournament's still going on, not on break, while the tournament's still going on, because they always said, like, it, there's a chance that they can get bad beat and get into a bad situation and have their chip stack knocked out. So they would rather get blinded out through the process of the end yeah. of day one than possibly getting put in a bad situation. Oh, maybe gold last season could do that. Even if they get knocked out first, it doesn't matter. They probably still would win this tournament. And that is incredible. Hey, it's the casting desk. Yeah, um, God last season. Do you mind sitting this one out? Yeah, not a conversation <laughs> we're going to be having, but it would be in an ideal world. It would be really cool to see if they would. I, I agree with you. Mate. I do believe that they have uh, put in the early, say early games work, not early game, early games work. Do the hard work early. You still got the energy a bit earlier in the evening, and you can rest on your laurels for the rest of the tournament. You saw it first here at the Apex TGS Open Series on your Monday night. Hopefully, you're doing decent and this last game is going to be an absolute rick roaring chaos fest of frags and uh, we'll get into it in just a tick we uh have seen some sniping but it's actually interesting for me uh, one of my first tournaments actually or my first tournament forecast in apex we're just talking about that sniping uh, i haven't really seen too much seen a lot more close combat engagements Oh, for sure. I mean, it, it, it's it's absolutely incredible uh, uh, the sniping in this game because again, it it puts in the damage, but it's not really a situation. It's not a situation you want to get yourself in uh, as far as a close range engage of close range engagement because you can put down the damage, but it's hard to get knocks on its own. Where sniping is really good is for upgrading your shields in the early game and stealing mm -hmm. players' kills, and then ultimately once the late game comes, you get to that final three. It's it most likely would be better for you to swap out that sniper and play a more close range option as our our caustic player almost playing like seer just almost like i, I know with seer you usually aim down the sights to get to collect heartbeats and <laughs> caustic was just kind of looking at the floor right there i'm not sure he was testing out his uh his weapon or something it was actually kind of weird but now we're seeing some engagement coming in and uh yeah he's just staring at the wall <laughs> just having a little uh a little timeout, mental timeout, just gathering the thoughts. And that's not how you want to be playing if uh, you can go to ALG. Five million up for grabs. Please make sure you're checking that out if you want to go for broke. Events.ea.com forward slash ALGS where all those top Apex legends are competing and striving to aim for. I'm sure plenty of these teams right now do have themselves in the running for that. But focus. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the target. Who's going to finish in that top three? And you know what? Now, now that I'm actually, now that I put some thought, I think I realized it because the caustic player is using a havoc rifle, which is a charging up weapon. So I believe what he was doing, mm -hmm. he was looking at the wall. So as soon as he heard some gunfire, he up. was going to start shooting it and charge it up, and then poke his way in and and start and and and, and, and kind of poke in and, and and run it that way. I think that was his plan. That's probably why he was staring at the wall right there. A little interesting, but he's going to swap out that havoc rifle for a charge rifle, one of my favorite guns in the game, and he even has an L star to back it up which is another energy weapon so things are looking very good here for our caustic player but i'm surprised he currently doesn't have any shields at the moment and I'm, no. I'm guessing he, he's he hopefully finds some uh some blue shield soon because it's not gonna look good i mean playing with no shields is not obviously not gonna put yourself in any kind of good situation for loot goblins i believe his mirage player is in the same boat he's currently have shields and he hasn't uh he hasn't sold up yet the accelerant is going to be uh kicked in for one member of the loot goblins uses that loot to his advantage gets the ult bumping gets it kicking ready to be put into gear whenever um talking of energy ammo you were just mentioned that earlier on i'm a massive a massive energy ammo fan love the havoc but early game without that turbocharger you're pretty much useless you pretty much are useless and if you take a few bullets in early gunfights you're not going to be able to return fire as easily what is able to return fire is this charger look at it go 
I talked about it before. The charge rifle is easily my favorite, one of my favorite guns in the game. Mm. I always have it in my composition because it rips shields, and I I'm able to not only upgrade my shields, but then shield swap with my teammates and upgrade theirs as well. Uh, like, as far as the late game, not the best option, but he also has the R301 to back him up in case the gunfire gets in a little bit closer. As we're seeing Olympus, the only map that actually has vehicles on it, uh, and that car being used to get themselves into, uh, I guess, a better position now i'm not sure if that uh, i mean you could use that card to play hyper aggressive or you can just uh, or you can use it to get into a, a i guess an early rotation as valkyrie wanted to rotate in after getting the beautiful knock in from the charge rifle octane is always ahead wing man association trying to go for gold they are they are most certainly trying to get themselves into the best position possible i love that vehicle we'll get back to talking about the vehicle i'd love to see a couple more of those in apex to be honest but just one and changing position it will be. Women Association, they're going in heavy and hot here. And that Wraith was in a bad position. He's forced to queue out, but he was not able to stay alive. Tries to enter the void, but not able to get away with his life. So I believe there's only one more player left who's getting hunted down. Uh, that is not looking good, but it is good for Wingman Association. This is your team, that I believe, that was in second place. They want to make sure that they get as much kill, pay, you know, kill points as possible and then go in for the placer points as well if they want to hold on to that and get themselves some big money. It's $500 on the line. No games can be played here. No games. No fun and games here. This is the money game. It's a little bit more serious. You've had those first couple. You can make a couple of mistakes. It's forgivable, right? You've uh, got more games to get yourself back into. Right now, super unforgiving. Charge rifle, flatline, off the ground. But going for the reeler, going for the shield. And actually going to get down. And Rampart follows up as well. So Mirage is going to be our final player alive, but not for long. We're down to 11 squads as that player ends up getting hunted down. I believe that was a motorcycle riders. And we're switching gears to FCS who have lost Something two of their way. players. Both banners have been retrieved, but Wraith is currently ratting it out. Six damage away from getting the blue shields and hopefully can get to a position where she can revive her teammates and do so safely. This is uh, tournament riding on this. Quite literally, the tournament right on this. Shields obtained. Lone survivor. Try and do what they do. Get into that void. Get through that dimensional drift. And change the game. Flip the script. One team right now doesn't need to flip the script. Is uh, Tawamaj Tenchi. I do believe a team yeah, that's uh, not had the best of tournaments, quite honestly. Have seen them inflict some damage. Had seen them have good positioning. But these gunfights, they've been outclassed by some sincerely sensational players in the server. And when you're playing against a team like gold last season what what do you do what can you do against that kind of aim cost of gas is all over the place and bloodhound forced to back down and try to phoenix up as he loses all of his shields and even most of his life this phoenix kid is going to be really, really risky it takes a long time to charge up and if you end up getting shot you will you're out in no man's land but luckily able to get away staying alive here in fight night which normally gets a little hot as well 10 squads remaining and i, I will say i believe it's tower maji tenshi they're looking good they have all three of their players currently upgraded into purple shields they have an adequate amount of ammo the bloodhound is ulted out ready to, to, to go with the beast of the hunt mode things are looking good if you're a fan of tower maji tenshi are now looking to rotate into center map here uh this is turbine this gets a little this definitely gets hot i promise you turbine gets hot the promise has been delivered can the eye of the all father be delivered to give it an honor tier to tower maji tenshi taking this gunfight inflicting some damage seeing those numbers tick tock tick tock they're going up Scans coming in and two hostiles have been detected and Bloodhound backing down. And here we go. Beast of the whole beast mode has actually been activated. Now it's always good. I'm loving the, the mechanics coming out of this Bloodhound. Great play to scan first before you go beast. Because once you go beast, you pretty much get your scans right back. So it's almost like a free scan once you go beast of the hunt mode. And shots trying to fly with a G7 scout in looking beautiful at that. That might have been, a, I think it was 34 damage hit three times on that player who gets absolutely shredded. Another scan coming in, sees the caustic trap, so well aware of it. Not going to last long. Able to, uh, to shoot them down. Honestly, they probably would get spotted anyways, even if he wasn't in that scan mode. Charge rifle off the screen does get a down player that was going to be our Valkyrie uh, player Sama so shots are starting to go off all over the place things that the tempo has been up here
It has. This is not what we've seen when 10 teams are left in previous games. Not in the slightest. This is like a completely different lobby. You love to see it. A change, a shift in gear. Kind of the sixth gear that we didn't know we had. Tower, Menji, Tenshi still with three players. And they've been, they've been stuck in this gunfight for quite a while now. Beautiful shots coming in from this G7 scout, but I, my, my gun don't work like that. I don't know. I, I, maybe it's because I, I I don't know. Maybe maybe because I use control and I can't click that fast with the mouse and have the recoil control from long range. I have to really count on the aim assist. I don't know. But my, my G7 scout shots don't hit like that. I promise you. <laughs> That's got to be a DLC or something because mine don't either. I can confirm that. It, it hits uh, like a, a pea shooter. It does not hit like it should. It's more Pay like a Mozambique at distance. I swear this scout was long distance. Going down to eight squads remaining at the moment. And it looks like a little bit of a gatekeeping action between these two squads that we're seeing in the picture on picture action. There's a bubble shield that was already, uh, already put out there. So... Uh, not really doing much with that bubble, and that's going to be really crucial because if they get into a bad situation, they might end up needing it as Bloodhound forced to back down into the zone for a bit to heal up, and Gibby does well. All players getting ripped for Tower Manji Tenshi. I talked about them having the purple shields, but it's not going to be much if they keep getting shredded. They have to do their best to stay alive and not get clipped in that way. Yeah, they're having such a tough time. I'm surprised they haven't fallen off this gunfight. I really, really am. I know it's the last fight and that, oh, sorry, the last map and that just changed the kind of dynamic, the, the flow, the play of these teams. But playstyle wise, if you've lost an engagement, you've done 400 damage plus, back off it. Take a new angle. Yeah, you got to be careful. You definitely don't want to make yourself predictable because most of the time any pre-fire can come in and already a t uh, uh, an enemy team will have their sights lined up. So I agree 100% with that sentiment. Uh, notice how the jump pad is set up. So when they're ready to push out, they can absolutely do so. I love playing the edge of the circle on your back because uh, you know there's going to be nobody coming out behind you, but you do have to be careful not to get gate kept, uh, which is the scenario that Tawa Maji Tenshi might be in right now. We are seeing some more engagement on the top right-hand corner of your screen and the kill feed. As okay. no hostiles have been detected after the Bloodhound scan, he is seeing the tracks that they've got. They've gone away. It looks like they weren't ready for that gunfight. And DRM are getting into their own engagement. Uh, with again, I, I I don't see Mirage much played at the high level, but he is a very fun legend to play. Let me tell you, you, you can definitely have some oh, fun yeah. with Mirage. He's one of my favorites, and I'd call myself uh, a glamorized casual at best. But ba 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 bamboozle Slapping that bamboozle into the equation. Mirage, so much fun. Keeps you laughing right until the end. But you you've got no time for laughing right now. You have to have that game face in place. DRM do have the game face. They've got the one, the only vehicle available. Where are they going to? Taxi? And my mind you, DRM is one of the squads that are, are within striking distance of the money. I believe they're sitting comfortably in sixth place. Uh, sixth place so DRM can easily make a run they've gotten a, a decent amount of placement points almost every single game as crypto the ultimate intel legend I'm a big fan of crypto you'll notice mm -hmm. that there's banners on the top of the screen crypto has the ability to ping a banner and it will tell you and your teammates how many squads are in the area so if you're a good crypto wow. player what you want to do is you want to hop in that drone leave it by a banner ping it to let your teammates know where they are where how many teams are in the area and then you can even leave it there so you can hop out of the drone hop back in and keep pinging it and always getting that intel crypto is the ultimate legend he can also he can also uh uh scan beacons in the drone and do it instantly without any kind of charge rate i've definitely been a bloodhound player charge uh going for the beacon and end up getting a headshotted by a kraber you don't have to worry about that with crypto you can also even pick up banners and revive your teammates in the drone and do it instantly as well that is sick i love learning i'm all about the learning and uh that is just a lesson that i'm getting taught by you also talking of learning check out uh, wu and uh, what that is that's gonna be a place where you can get your digital media your business tech management and anything tech wise in game design as well Make sure you head out to WLU.ca if you're interested in uh, taking your career a bit further and upping your intel as well. Back to crypto, though. Yeah, crypto. What a cool agent. I think uh, I might be unlocking that agent real soon. Yeah, exactly. there's definitely a lot of uh, information that you can get and a, a lot of cheeky plays that you can do with crypto that uh, that aren't known by by, by the uh, the average casual player as shots yeah. starting to ring out for our Bloodhound. This is Team 
gold last season, our number one team. They had 99 points, and clearly they've made it over the 100 point mark. And they might end up being the only team that does so in the entire tournament, getting the high ground. 51 seconds for the hill to close in, but they are getting shredded from multiple players. They got to back down over towards Waterfall and get that height advantage. They're getting targeted. It feels like it, doesn't it? It's like, let's go last season. Take them out. Get them out the game. Flight like, lines uh, in the hands of our of, of player Alpha. Four hundred bullets. I mean, that's a. I, I, I don't end up carrying that much bullets. I don't hit shots. I don't shoot that much bullets. But clearly, he's ready for some gunfights. Motor uh, motorcycle rider have actually switched up their composition slightly. They're running my favorite legend in the game, Loba. Loba has the ability to have to brace it out of situations if you play a bit of cover uh, to to get yourself into a situation or get out of a situation. And also, the ultimate is in incredible coming from Loba. I think she's a highly underrated legend. Uh, always making sure that you're kitted and having your perfect composition. DRM, our Crypto and Mirage team. Now Tower, Manji, Tenchi getting into an engagement. Seven squads remaining. I was going to say, we'll come back to that Loba point, but that is such a value point. Not not used as often as it should be. Comes to doing the value, the bang for your buck you can get from, from that loadout from that util. Right now, we've had so much screen time for Tower, Menchi, Tenchi. So much damage. We have seen them rack up, but they're not really getting the frags to tee off from that they deserve. Only got the one frag just uh, hanging out here. But yeah, I really don't feel like they've, uh, they've got the conversion. In come the, the, oh, the frags and all the bullets. Looking like they might be getting third party tier, pal. Dad, they are a gimme player. It gets shredded and goes down. Bloodhound even loses all of his shields, but luckily Bloodhound was able to play his life. So it's a 2v3 situation and looks like Gibby's going to get thirsted. Bloodhound ends up going down, so that is not looking good. Gold last season, picking up where they left off all tournament long and pushing and aping everybody in sight. They love getting into gunfights. They love getting the KP. And if they manage to make it to placement because of it, oh, that's great. But if not, at least they got the KP to make up for the point differential. They have been playing for placement this game, 200%. They played a different game. They've let everyone else take the gunfights, and uh, they're just playing that third-party game. The third-party chill, kick back on the couch, and uh, just holding your Xbox controller and just having a fantastic time. Nice way for them to, to end this tournament as well. You talk about uh, do the hard work, and it'll look after you later. Well, that is a prime example of what we're seeing right now. Still on board with our Octane player from our number one gold last season. I'm not even going to call them gold last season. I'm just going to call them our number one gold team because they're going for gold at the moment. <laughs> He's rocking the Rampage right now, which is a weapon that puts in the work from long range. And you're and you're seeing that. that yeah, you're right. They are playing for placement. They have slowed down their uh their play. It's almost a snail's pace right down right now. Yeah. They want to make sure that they get as much placement points as possible, and maybe they're comfortable playing in the end game. So there's no way that they do not get first place. Five hundred dollars on the line for our Apex Open Series. Slow and steady wins the race, right? There's the classic turtle analogy, and uh, it comes into play right now. Slow and steady is gold last season. They've had the Nikes on all game. They've put the slippers on. They've put the Crocs on. And uh, just a slow, slow and steady walk to the finish line. And I thought that I actually really thought they were going to push that right there, but they put down the damage, almost scared that team away, and then back right down to this building. Still rocking the Octane Bloodhound Gibby composition. I would love for them to maybe even uh, maybe have switched it up, maybe swap out the uh, the Octane and run like a, uh, a a composition involving Caustic. If they're going to play a little bit slower, that would have been really interesting to see as Beast of the Hunt has been Here activated. Shots are starting to ring out. The flat line is merciless, but I think it's shooting some mirage decoys right there that are being flown at them. That must be DRM that they are going after. Yep, yes it is. Good read, mate. DRM have been doing what they can to stay a part of this fight, stay relevant. It's hard to stay relevant with a team like like Gold last season. Going for Gold, that's right. They really are going for Gold. They've got the plays. They've switched their play style. Such a dynamic team. And regardless of what agent composition or champion uh, composition they have, they have been uh, leagues ahead of their opponents. Absolute leagues. 
And it looks like Bloodhound was able to find that drone. I'm surprised Crypto actually didn't call it back instead of leaving it in, in a, uh, I guess, a, a vulnerable position. It was shot down, so there's going to be no more intel for quite some time. Uh, Crypto's drone is amazing, but once it gets destroyed, it has a really long uh, uh, cooldown time. So it's really good for if you're, if you're using it to, to recall it and not put it into a, a vulnerable position as Gold last season. Still having all three of their players up. Five squads remaining, and Blight getting ripped, losing his shields and most of his life. Blight really taking taking life to the edge of the fight there. Super, super close to being taken down. Manages to stay up. The reshield's going to come in as well. So, reshielded. Super low on HP. He's getting stimmed. He's going straight into the heart of it. Well, luckily with Octane, you can stim all the way to one shot. And I believe that you can keep stimming because Octane will never Ooh. kill himself via the stims. Uh, so as long as you have shields, I guess you're a little bit safer. But I, I would still be worried. Hey, you got you to be careful. You, you never know what could happen. You get ripped accidentally by one or two players and you have no health. That is not going to be looking good as he's choosing to swap out some of his utilities. And NFG in a terrible situation. I don't know what he was he trying to go for the armor swap right there. I think he ended up getting it, queuing out. We're going to land right into a player easily getting out and jumping Ooh. up while in the void almost getting out of that situation but he does get hunted down so tragic such great movement for him to get out of there but that movement just ran him right into the jaws of defeat caustic you talked of caustic late game the example the only example you need to see coming in from simon's money crew Cost of gas all over the place, really hard to see, but Octane can easily see, I guess. He was able to rip the player, but even getting ripped back, the nature coming oh, no. in. Gold bag res, so he comes up with half shields, half life, but all players losing their life for Simon Money Crew. This was the team, I believe, that's going to be it. It's over. That is it, just like that. I don't even, I, I, you blink twice, and it was over. Gold, last season, taking this game, I believe Simon Money Crew ended up in second place. I I've, I've, I believe they're, I know with their with their overall placement they were in the top three. Uh, or, excuse me, in the top four. The question is, did they get themselves into third place? Did they even get themselves possibly into second place? Because that was Wingman Association that was holding it down for quite some time. Great job by Simon's Money Crew. Even better job for Gold last season. This is Apex, baby. I, I love it every moment of it. And it has been front to back. It's one of those books that you just can't keep your, your eyes off the page. You're flicking through. You're going to read an extra chapter while you're there too. This has been an absolute gong show of, of rags here. So many teams up and down the ladder and uh, sliding down the ladder and even climbing back up the top. But let's have a look and see for kill points when we do get to leaderboard after a short break before kind of crunch the numbers and put everything together. But let's talk about what we've seen today and all the, the good things that we've seen today for all these teams, Tony. We've seen such a large selection and, and composition of champions. I'm actually quite surprised some of the, the comms that we've seen today as well. Yeah, that's one thing I, I like about where Apex is at is season 10 is that, you know, a lot of the weapons and a lot of the legends are viable. You know, you still have some of the better weapons, but you pick up any gun if, as long as you're familiar with the game and you've practiced and you've practiced and you understand how the uh, that weapon works. You can make it viable. You can win gunfights with it throughout the early game, even if you don't get your ultimate kit. And the same thing with Legends as well. If you practice a Legend, you put it to work. I don't care if it's a Mirage, a Lifeline, a Gibby, or a Octane. No matter what, you can find success with any Legend as long as you practice and put in the work. Have you put in the hours? Yes, then you should be good to go to enter the next TGS Open Series for Apex. That's what we're trying to say to you. Who will have finished in the top three positions? Well, I think we've sorted out one of those and uh, that'll be the goal and we'll come back to that. And as well, we'll come back to all of the high octane action of who is going to finish in this top three right after a short little break. Don't go anywhere. Six games. Six grueling, long games exciting games were played we laugh i cried i i i i spilled my water at one point i hope my computer's oh, okay uh it was absolutely incredible and it was all for this moment let me tell you guys that this this was one of my favorite tournaments that i've casted the dominance that gold last season showed just really just putting on an absolute clinic they was were. amazing and everybody fighting from from two to five being so close uh, some of the teams even only separated by one point was absolutely amazing as, as well and it all comes down to this z 
How are you feeling? I'm feeling uh, surprisingly jacked uh, after this tournament. I, I, just to be fair, complete to everyone watching it as well. I'm not a liar. I'll call myself out on this. This is my first Apex tournament to cast. It has been probably the most high octane tournament I've ever had the opportunity to. With Battle Royale, usually you think of a slow, grueling build up and you don't think of high octane action. But from all of the teams that we've seen today, we've had nothing but a really sincerely great performance. So thank you so much for all the teams that have entered. I've loved every single damn second of it and uh, i've got no one to thank more than the sponsors and tds that have made this possible let's get things started of course uh, the apex legends global series that is events.ea.com forward slash a l g s five million dollars repeat that one more time five million us dollars up for grabs there it's open it's going if you are serious about apex you'll know about it already if you're just finding out you're just like me getting into the flavor of things here sign up for that and get yourself into that next league of apex we've got plenty more people to be thanking as well tony Oh, 100%. And, and, uh, and honestly, I mean, uh, thank you to, thank you obviously for being a fantastic host. I'm fairly Excellent. new to Apex myself. Uh, and, 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 and you guys, the, the gaming stadium, uh, you, you guys have been an incredible community. It's so welcoming to both of us. Uh, cause like I said, we're both, we're both fairly new to the, uh, to the scene. And I was looking at the chat the whole time. It was nothing but great things being said. Uh, th th uh amazing production, amazing coast. As I said, it was incredible. Uh, I, I don't know about maybe getting $5 million, but I will say if you want to get yourself a little bit of cash in your pocket and, and do something important, uh, for the earth, uh, I want to talk about one of our other sponsors and return it. I mean, again, I, I, have, I have a plastic bottle literally sitting right here next to me. And if we have to be doing everything that we can to to make sure that we're recycling. And this is just a one way that you can recycle locally. Uh, set, you can literally send off your recyclables and get money back to you, which is absolutely insane. And and, and, and you're doing something good from the earth. So uh, you talked about ALGS. Uh, obviously, uh, that $5 million event is fantastic, but I also wanted to bring... Is there anybody else you want to talk about, uh, uh, Z? Yeah, man. Let's uh, let's give it let's go the full spectrum as well, because a couple of a couple of people, couple of sponsors to thank too. Another thank you, of course, to to Monster Cat. Um, have you heard about Monster Cat Gold? Not many people have. You've heard of Monster Cat. You think, oh, DMCA uh, free music. I'm not going to get DMCA struck on any of my my social media I'm doing for content. Well, it goes a step further than that. Monster Cat Gold, five bucks per month, and uh, you get a six spectrum of all different genres of music so you've got your, your set monster cat you get a little bit monster cat gold you get a lot of it you get all of the bells and the whistles so make sure you check that out and uh, to get more info on that tgs dot gg forward slash monster cat for all the info to get yourself signed up for that we mentioned it and dabble with it a little bit but of course tgs we would be nowhere without tgs and of course your handsome face as well tony thanks so much man this has been such a fun tournament and uh i hope to be casting many many more with uh with your fine self as well um i wonder and production definitely shoot me down we could keep yarning about what we've seen so far today i wonder how those uh those leaderboards are looking so we can get into the middle of this to the heart of things and find out where those players and teams are at i'll let production let us know of that and we can just give a, a further breakdown tony um what was your favorite thing that you saw today uh, was it uh, gold last season by chance uh yes i mean i i, I told we talked about gold last season all tournament long uh rocking two uh, uh, uh two players that have have been there done that mentality and big shout out to professional tournament admin and an observer alpha rounding out that team it was absolutely incredible it was their tournament to win the entire time 118 points big winner the only team to make it into Man. triple digits right behind them simon's money crew only taking it by three points Ooh. absolutely insane simon's money crew was in the uh, was in the running right behind them is the wingman three points behind but still getting in the top the, uh, the excuse me the top four uh and even getting that third place at 73 points and then right behind them was border cycles uh, uh riders club a, a fantastic group of guys 66 mm -hmm. points rather than the top four and then fcs sneaking in there they started towards the, uh, the right side of the screen and they just showed us that if you keep you just put your head down and put yeah. in that work and and and, and 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 you grind and you never give up you can fight your way fighting the way all the way from the right side of the screen and making it into fifth place congratulations to you 
FCS. Yeah. That, that's super impressive. That is such... I think that's the, what, the biggest one to highlight there. They were down and out. Like, you want to talk about in the jaws of the feet? They were in the belly of the beast. They fought their way out the belly of the beast from bottom of that entire leaderboard to get themselves to fifth. Massive kudos to them and obviously our top three. But gold last season, you deserve a salute from us here at the car so that was a really exceeding performance and talking of like the kill points almost double those of, of third and second right so th i think it was 37 kill points for for second and third and like 72 uh to get you to triple figures just mind-blowing stuff from gold last season and proving why uh they've got some affiliation and they're associated with kellogg's because uh they had their breakfast and uh it was a good one yeah, and and, and, and and honestly, it's it, it just has been an incredible tournament. Uh, we we named some of our sponsors just to round things out. Uh, Pinnacle, thirty thousand dollars in prize pools. If you're master of the web uh, of the button combos, get in there. Guilty Gear, Smash Ultimate, Street Fighter. It's it's the real deal. And then W L U, beautiful uh beautiful designs of all these maps. Olympus, uh World's Edge, King Canyon, the beautiful design. And maybe maybe you can design a, a map or a level similar to that if you join their game design program. Uh, thank all of our sponsors. The other ones that we mentioned before. Um, thank you, Cup. This has been phenomenal. This production has been incredible yes. as well. So uh, I, I want I want to also give a big thank you to TGS. This is the first time that I've ever casted a TGS event, and wow, did it leave a mark on me. I've cast the plenty of events in my day and this had to be one of my favorites thank you to competitors without you guys and you know obviously we wouldn't be here and most important thank you guys in the chat you guys making the noise uh obviously a lot of tubby fans in the chat we saw a lot of we saw a lot of tubby chants as well but just everybody good vibes all over the place honestly that they think thank you i really i really do appreciate it some battle scars and some battle accommodations issued to all the warriors and all of the legends that we had in the server today. One team that took the cake and uh, it's all in the name really. Gold last season, getting the gold medal, walking away with that dove and uh, some noticeable mentions as well for, for second and for third. But that will be it for us. And uh, until next time, unless you've got anything else to add, it has been a pleasure. Tony, any last words? Uh, no, I, mean, I, I think I, I think I, I got it before. Again, th thank you guys so much. Uh, that's going to be from us. And, and like you said, until next time, because let me tell you, uh, when it, this ain't going to be the last time you see us. I promise you that. You guys have a good one. See you guys.